Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of Atomic Heart. In our last video, we got the train running and tried to come to the VDNH. Uh, of course it didn't make it, so now we need to travel there by foot to initiate an emergency drill. So we're tr gonna try and do that today. I'm sure there's gonna be lots of obstacles in our way, but we're gonna at least try and get to the VDNH and see what we can do. I hope you stick with us through it. It's kind of cool to be exploring the overworld in this game now. I got sick of running from these guys, so I'm gonna start trying to fight them a little bit. Hopefully they won't be too much of a problem. Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken man, you know that? I'll deal with it. Alright, we're just killing everything so far. I do have to get better about not wasting ammo and trying to use my axe, but I'm still getting used to fighting these guys. They seem to be susceptible to our shock and our shotgun, at least. I don't know how the axe is going to handle those metal machines. Oh yeah, there's a hawk in the sky. I'm kind of wondering if we disable that hawk, if we'll be able to uh, disable some of the robots in the area. These towers allow us to hack into their camera system at least and get access to some things. Okay, what do we have here? Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VDNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk. Okay, what can we do here? Alright, we or opened some sort of control station, so let's go check that out. Seems like we're going to have to fight our way in there, though. Still kind of getting used to some of these powers we have too. I'm not very good at using them in combat. As soon as I start getting attacked, I kind of like panic and just start using the weapons. He seemed to keep collecting these parts. What does it do? It will cause the hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. Oh, I missed. Okay, we caught it in time. Let's see what this gets us. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilized the hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. That seems to be where we're going. I guess getting past this locked door is easier than I thought it would be. We just slide right in. From a bird's eye view. You can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Let's save. These big open areas are always worrying. It's like perfect for a boss fight. Okay, what did that do? Uh-oh. 
Where did it go? Oh! Okay, we're actually fighting this thing this time. This thing is so fast. I can barely keep track of where it went. Okay, it is just wrecking house. Over here, you little fucker. Nice, we can do that again. We'll have it down, I think. It doesn't have a lot of health. It's just hard to hit because it's so fast. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna need to heal. This is crazy. Oh, it's gonna take more than that. Half health or less. I'm just spamming health potions at this point. I guess they're more like health cartridges. Okay, he doesn't stay in like stunned mode very long. We gotta shoot him right away when he goes down. Oh, we're getting pulled in by, like, some sort of gravity from that thing. What is this? Oh, this is bad. Okay, heal. Seems like we gotta jump over those. Oh, can we shoot them? Okay, why didn't that do as much damage this time? First time that messed him up, the second time that just took like a little chip off his health. Yeah, now we're doing almost no damage to this thing. Oh, not this again. There's gotta be some secret to fighting this thing that I'm just not understanding yet. Okay, let's go. You asked for it. We got it. Nice. That was a tough fight. That thing's just so fast. Civilian robot. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I I do. I mean, shit, I do. But I can't remember a damn thing. They seem different somehow. This guy just reminds me of, like, a Soviet Duke Nukem at this point. Alright, well, that was a cool boss fight. Let's see what taking that thing down does for us. Step one is gonna be to heal, I think. And save. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about fighting that thing again. Actually, our health's better than I thought it was at the end of that fight. Okay, what does raising these towers do? It only lets us raise one and then it goes back down. Not really sure what that's supposed to do. Like, is this some sort of puzzle? I don't know. Let's just... Yeah, this doesn't seem to do anything. 
I'm sure there's something I'm not understanding, but I'm gonna just move on, I think. Unless there's some sort of clue to this puzzle. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you know what I'm supposed to do there, because I'm clueless with that thing. Okay, this looks like it might be the VDNH. You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. You'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. How are they going to celebrate things if everybody is dead? doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is. I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Well, I guess we're going down there somehow. Okay, that seems to have opened this. No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not going to kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but... This is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. Okay, so we gotta use magnets and EMP to solve puzzles here, it seems like. Okay, that doesn't do anything. some more scrap at least hopefully we can build something soon might I remind you that you can change the magnets polarity with a single shock charge isn't that what we just did I love when our like helper is like trying to solve Comrade puzzles Major, that we've already solved the VDNH? kinda What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kind of almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. All right, can we raise ourselves back up there since I fell? trying to figure out this whole puzzle it's like a platforming section using these platforms that we have to raise and lower <laughs> all right i'm kind of understanding how this works now Not that platforming is this game's strong suit, but we'll get through this. Do I want to lower this? Or do I want to try and go around it with the platform? To 
Can I make that jump? Or do I need to be closer? I just don't want to fall back down and have to start this all over. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be an easier way around. I think we just got to jump for it. Just barely made it. You fucked in the head? What you staring at, you metal dipshit? Over here, you little fucker! Ah, another one of these. We haven't solved enough of these puzzles yet. There seems to be one of these different puzzles on like every door we encounter. This game is almost more puzzle solving and platforming than it is shooting and combat. Seems like it's giving us a lot of ammo for weapons we don't have. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. That's because it's on the floor. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Yeah, I'm really hoping there isn't too many of these platforming rooms. This type of puzzle solving is only going to be interesting for so long. How do I get back up in here? Seems like this is the way. Okay, that's the door we came in. Oh, well, that certainly isn't helpful. Oh, of course we can't make that jump. But we can, however, start off on this platform. Ah, there's a puzzle on that block. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. 
He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Cause no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. <clears throat> Alright, well, we're starting to learn a bit more of their motivations here. Seems like they're both trying to get a get control of the robots and take over the society here. Gain control, but we don't really know all these details yet. Of course, the minute they stop telling us all that backstory, we finally make our jump across here properly. Okay, this room is clear. I almost fell there. That would have been bad. I really don't want to redo that. That jump was tough. You had to, like, lower the platform and jump as it's coming down. Fading data. Okay, there's the next room we need to go into. Is there any loot down there worth going down to get? Or are we better just crossing this and getting out of here? Well, we're down here anyway. Okay, there doesn't seem to be much down here. Maybe we're just meant to cross this room and be on with it. Okay, so we can raise and lower the two sides of this room individually. Kind of independent from each other. That's going to make this puzzle a little more interesting. Which side of the room do we now need to lower and raise? can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take Collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. All right, well, I think that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Atomic Heart. Bye for now.